Hi, this is Orlando with another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna see the best option to export a transparent background in Premiere. And we're gonna be exporting this and after you export uh, this uh, kind of project, you can create this that I already showed the other day when I created the uh, Hot Transition Premiere. So you can create this after. And the best uh, thing of this is also you can use this to create the same uh, project in After Effects. A vid, uh, iMovie or Final Cut Pro. So let's uh, start. First, we're gonna go um, for shop. As you know, the shapes you can download on my site. And I'm gonna pick the this uh, little hearts. You know, I'm gonna go 1920 by 1080, and hit OK. Once we have this, pick the move tool. It's the small B. We're gonna select Command A, to select and align to the center. And also, we're gonna change the color. And then we're gonna duplicate this holding down command J and we're gonna put this invisible and make sure the second is selected. We're gonna deselect, go select and deselect all. And we're gonna delete the hearts at the sides, you know, also and we're gonna just leave the middle, the little heart in the middle. To pick the pounce tool is, you know, just go to pound tool, uh, menu bar, or hold it down, you know, the P does the shortcut. Hold it on command, we're gonna delete. Uh, this this port is right side and also those are left side and those two on the top as well as you guess those on the bottom beautiful and then just command T to free transform holding down shift option we're gonna scale up to fit the count beautiful and we're gonna put this back in and I'm gonna just uh, save it. Jump into Premiere, and we're gonna create um, a new sequence that I call Mask Transparent. Oh, you know, it's a 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, and hit OK. And also, we're gonna import the files. You know, just double click or Command I to import the files. And I'm gonna pick the PSD file, import, and make sure to have individual layer, make sure both of them selected document size and I hit OK and there we have our file, PSD file, you know, two objects and just uh, select both of them, drag into the timeline, zoom in a little bit and also we need to go 7 seconds, 16 frames. So I will explain why I'm doing this and also we're gonna put the, uh, let me see which one is the break this is the this is the big so we're gonna put in the uh, second layer make sure the big is in the second layer the small ones in the first layer once we have this we're gonna put this invisible the second layer so make sure if it's uh seven i forgot to you know remember i say seven seconds 16 frames and then we need to extend this at the same length you know beautiful once we have this go at the zero frame and pick the, uh, make sure uh, the first layer selected, the small hash of course, and minimize this. And I'm gonna play with the opacity. So go to opacity and put zero at the beginner and add a keyframe. I already have a keyframe. If we go one second long, go to 100%. The opacity as you know, beautiful. So this is what we have, beautiful. Next, we need to go, so we need to leave um, five seconds for the image, you know, for default is five seconds. So we're gonna leave five seconds. And uh, so already use uh, one second, 16 frames. So we need to go six seconds then, six seconds. And we're gonna just add another keyframe. If we go to seven seconds, and we need to put the zero. So let's see what we have. So it starts up, it stays for five seconds, and then, you know, fades out. You see, fades in and fades out. Oh, great. So this is what we're looking for. Then we need, we need to select and right click, you know, easy out, maybe smoothly this. And we're gonna play with the uh, second image, which is the big one, the big heart. So as I said, so I go, in this case, we need to go first of the scale. This we're gonna play with the scale. So I'll go to zero, 
and then we need to go one second because we need to fade in first the little hearts and then start scaling the big heart so go one second and we're gonna put this um, scale at the keyframe and we're gonna, gonna just give a uh, 15 frames not longer than so we're just a half a second you know and go 15 frames and we're gonna just so uh, add a um, you know we're gonna scale up to 280 just cover the comp and there we have and also we're gonna leave this because as I said we need uh, five seconds for the image to stay for default and so if we go seven seconds of course actually you know it's seven seconds yes we we'll go seven seconds and then we need to add another keyframe just add a keyframe and go to seven seconds, 16, uh, 15 frames. It was uh, seven seconds, 15 frames, remember? And then we need to scale down to zero. And see, uh, let's see what we have there. So you see, first uh, phase in the heart and then start scaling up the image. And then you see when the B heart scales down, you don't see the uh, little heart because. Uh, at this time you will see in the uh, next image you know and the uh, when you create the uh, slideshow like this so you see so here's the example so here we go actually we already make this that's the way i create this uh, project and so here's the uh, tutorial about it how to export as a transparent you know just have the uh, little hearts and also you can add a, you know as i said the other day you can add a or smooth this on uh, a little edge the big heart uh, out in the Gaussian blur so make sure to check the heart transition tutorial on my channel of course and so let's go after we have this actually you know let's uh, render this a little bit all right beautiful and so make sure to select the timeline if we go to file export we need to export as a media and here you have to pay attention the uh, settings to export as a transparent so the first we need to when it says format we need to make sure it's in quicktime and so also you can give a name right click and make sure the folder you're saving and I'm gonna sample now and also we're gonna just uh, uncheck uh, export in audio and then we need to go to video code so make sure this is the best option to export the same size that we have 1920 by 1080 so in here as you know for default it becomes 720 by 480 kind of like digital so that's why we need to pick animations to make sure to pick animation and also we have a little problem down here you see for default is given 720 by 480 so just uh, click this little chain or, or locker and we're gonna just type 1920 by 1080 you know the same size that we have and then after we pick the size that we're looking for we need to make another couple change uh, down here where it says depth render of maximum depth so we make sure to put in 32 and let's see what we have and also i'm forgetting some the spec we need to put in the square pixel to have the same you know otherwise you will have kind of like cut it the side you know so make sure so first is the format is quick time and the second make sure to un um uncheck uh exporting audio and the third option is you know the width and the height and the uh, specturations so make sure to put a square pixel and depth is um, 32, so and just uh, export. So make sure uh, to see where you're looking for. I mean, send. I'm gonna send to document and just save it. And we're gonna just export. Beautiful, and we're done. So let me see after you export, you already know how to export a transparent background. So let me create another, another just to show you the way or how it looks like so and just a new um, bg trans maybe just uh, a little quick you know the same uh, settings and we can just uh, double click to import you know and here we got the mask transparent and just import and you will see well look just uh, drag into the timeline just put in the second layer for now and see keep the existing change to sequence settings existing and let me see what we have you see here we got it's a 
a mob file, quick time file, you know, it's no longer a still image or JPG, whatever, or PSD. And here comes the quick and nice, uh, you know, that we can create. So let me insert the image. Mm, just insert this image maybe in the first layer. And, you know, extend the same length, you know, seven. Anyway, just, uh, just, uh, you know, stretch this. And here we go. Cool. Of course, it's on the top. But if we, you know, you already know me uh, using a lot the track mat key. I'm just looking out for a track mat key. And drag and drop. And the first layer, of course, because we have the image. So I'm just going to minimize this. And go and pick the second and you see. So look what we have. Of course, for now, shows the background. You can add any background you like, you know. And then uh, fades in. And then it starts opening the heart, you see. And go and up uh, all the camp. And then it stays for five seconds. And then it starts closing again. Actually, you know what? Because uh, the way it doesn't close, because we stretch this um, mask. So that's why I just uh, go to 7 with 7 and 16, right? 15. Okay, great. That was it. And just uh, let me try with the other image and just delete this. First, we need to copy this before. Just, oh, cat. You know, it's a command X to cat the. And just uh, another image because I cannot uh, stand out because we are uh, that image is animated in uh, composition. That's why. I'll just go back to my uh, image, static image, and just, uh, you know, and just uh, drag and drop the same image maybe. And this one will be able to have the same length. And yeah, you already know. So I'm gonna just uh, paste it. The um, and you will see what we have actually. You see, and there we have. Cool. As I say, you can uh, smooth this before exporting. You can smooth uh, this and uh, rough edge out in the Gaussian blur. So I think you have an idea how to export a uh, transparent background, the objects, you know, without background. And Premiere in that uh, gives you an option to have a nice animated object and use in any other applications, you know, like I said, uh, Final Cut Pro or the basic edition applications. Hope you guys like it. Please subscribe, give a like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and see you next time. I mean next week or Saturday or Sunday.